Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching this week's scrapbook layout. I'm going to be making one using this picture, or two pictures actually, one of me as a baby, and then there is my nan holding the same picture and also sat with her dog, Judy. Now, Judy hated me, really did not like me. I was the firstborn child and although they tried to encourage her and share lot you know still give her lots of love and not you know make her feel like you know she was excluded or no longer important still didn't work she would snarl at me she would growl and i was never really uh, well i wasn't i was never in a room with her without a guard or she was sat on nan's lap um yeah and this went on for years because i remember even as a young you know very young girl like around 10 or 11. Um, yeah, whenever I'd go into the dining room, there would be a kitchen guard up at the door and um, she would be on one side, I would be on the other. I remember one time and one time only, and I think I'd stayed at Nan's for maybe a, a longer duration, maybe one to two weeks. And I think because she'd had more time with me, she maybe warmed me a bit more and I remember being able to pat her on the head once. And then that was it, <laughs> never again. So on to today's layout, which isn't really talking about Judy, but I just thought I'd add that one in. Um, I'm using the Craftsmith paper pack Serenity. And I just wanted something filled with flowers and just using this paper pack. I'm not using any dies. I'm not using any stamps, nothing. I'm using everything is just coming from this paper pack. And then I've just got a couple of little puffy stickers to add at the end. So at the minute, I've just fussy cut a corner from a 12 by 12 sheet. I didn't really like it said perfectly imperfect, which is fine, but I just, I don't know, I just wouldn't use that. And so, yeah, I thought I love the flower in the corner. So I used the flower and then you just saw me mat that picture of my nan onto the same kind of, you know, the background part of that paper. So then I've got the, these flowers here, which is one of the 12 by 12 sheets, and I'm just cutting out lots of different flowers and leaves. There's like a nice tealy color and a purple color on this um, sheet. So I just wanted to go around and just kind of select a few of them. So at the minute, I'm just roughly cutting out lots of those flowers. And then I sit down for about an hour <laughs> um, with a movie and just fussy cut them all. So I love to fussy cut. If obviously, if you don't like fussy cutting, then you can just die cut your flowers and it would still work. So I'm still playing around with where these pictures are going to go at the moment. These, this is not how it ends up being. And I had an idea of having just the pictures swarmed by flowers. But once I start to do that more and more, it just looks a bit, ugh. I just, yeah, you can see it there. I just, yeah, I don't like it. So I'm bringing in this, uh, another 12 by 12 sheet from the pack. And these are all your strips. Really, really nice. And I've cut two of them there to the left hand side and then this rose gold one. So I'm just now again, you know, I like to just move everything around, kind of see where it's going to go. The colours of that frame. Now that picture, without giving my age away, although it's it's not a big deal, is I was about 18 months old. And I think this was about 1983, this picture. And um, but the bluey tealy color in that frame looks really really nice and it matches the papers really well so you can see there i've got firstborn which is what i was or am and i have used the craft uh, hobby craft wooden effect kind of letters there now again i've just stuck that down on 3d foam adhesive and then realized that i want the picture underneath so i'm just having to lift it off just slightly without ruining anything. Fortunately, I can. If you're just really careful and do these things slowly, you can, you know, kind of, you know, salvage it. So there you go. So now I'd already put sticky foam underneath the photo of Nan, and then I need to stick that picture of me down and also the strips. I kind of got myself into a bit of a mess. Um, I mean, nothing too, dr you know, dramatic, but the picture of me wasn't stuck down and then it, my picture of my Nan had got stuck on it and then I hadn't stuck the strips, which had got to go behind the picture of me. So I was just having to lift up everything and kind of work backwards I guess and then that other strip now that you can see that's right underneath me there you go that one needs to be stuck down as well before I stick the picture of me down which is already kind of attached to the picture of Nan so 
yeah, kind of got my sequence a bit mixed up with this one. But you'll see I peel off the corner where that one of my nan is just slightly stuck on top, um, which I'm doing now. And then I just get the back and that little bit all stuck down again, just so it's nice and secure. So it's starting to come together now. I quite like that arrangement. Well, I've got no choice because I've now <laughs> stuck it down. And um, I start to then bring in those flowers um, and stick down this word or the, yeah, the words first and born because they're very, they've got a very, very light tack on them. And I always like to add some extra adhesive so they don't fall off. Now, what I'm bringing in here is a Dovecraft metallic pen. Um, it worked brilliantly. It really absorbed into the, the kind of craft card that these letters are. And it's got a real nice metallic -y shine to it. And those colors worked better than the brown. I was never going to keep them brown because there's no brown in the layout. But now I've got that really nice purpley pinky tone and it just blended in much, much better. So now I'm just starting to build up those flowers and I end up toning it down. I don't go so heavy with them as in framing the whole of, you know, both those pictures, but it's kind of like the, the pictures are getting lost over time. You know, the, the flowers are kind of, you know, starting to take over, I guess. So now I'm using my puffy stickers. Now my sister's going to laugh at this and so is my mum and my auntie because between the three, four of us, we always kind of fight in a very, very loving and jokey way that we're the favourite. So the one under firstborn, it says you're my favourite because I always say to Nan whenever we're together and she'll say, oh, you're all so lovely. And then I'll say, yeah, but I'm your favourite, aren't I? So we've always done it. My mum does it with her sister. She goes, yeah, Nan loves me. You know, mum loves me more. I do it with my sister. Um, and it's just something we do as a family. And it's all very tongue in cheek and, you know, taken on the chin. So the other two sentiments I've got underneath me, I've got hashtag besties because my Nan is my oldest bestie. I love her to pieces. And then underneath that, I've got ray of sunshine, which I am and was to her. And then I'm finishing off now with some Nouveau drops. Now I went over the firstborn with the lilac Nouveau drops and it gave them a really nice shine and blended in perfectly. So another way to use your Nouveaux is use them like a glossy accent and you can kind of just see it starting to shine there. And then I just finished off with some more glossy accent little dots, which are clear, which again, you'll see in the pictures and just nestled in some more leaves and bits and pieces. And you can see there, hashtag bestie ray of sunshine which i thought looked really nice and in there you should just be able to make out that real nice gloss finish that you get over the letters so it's just other ways to incorporate your supplies and ways to use them really get them you know the most out of it so it's a really simple layout very very little tools are needed for this so if you are just starting out scrapbooking you don't have dies you don't have stamps it doesn't matter you don't need them just grab a pack of stickers with some kind of sentiment on or even write your title you know, there's many ways to start scrapbooking, scrapbooking with little items. So grab your 12 by 12 paper pack. As long as it's got, you know, different patterns and stuff on there, you're ready to go. So I hope you've enjoyed this week's scrapbook layout and I'll be back again next week with another one. Thanks for watching. Bye.